tell me if you can relate to this. You got this crazy business idea, like a big move you want to make, and you got a huge surge of energy. You're just feeling like, yeah, this is it. This is the one. And usually it starts off on the first day as just amazing energy and you're feeling good and you're feeling like, yeah, this is it. But then you don't take action for about a day and that day turns into a week and the week turns into a month and all of a sudden that energy is gone. You shouldn't let the fire go out. You see, every second that you don't take action, that energy weakens. That same excitement you feel in that moment when you first come up with the idea, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and less and less over the coming days. If you don't do something about it right away, it's probably going to die like a lot of, of your other hopes and dreams. Now, momentum starts with action. You have to do something. And this all starts with building your discipline. So passion without action fades. The key is to just start small. Do something, anything, just to get the process started. I went three years and missed three workouts. And... I was able to do this because I started off by taking 20 minute walks minimum daily. So those small habits turned into consistency. And the thing about habits is that they don't really exist in a vacuum. Every little action that you do creates momentum. You create a streak and you start to feel good about yourself. You improve your self image. And the same thing, it works the exact same way when you slack. So Every single time you miss a deadline, you say you're going to do something and you don't do it, you don't execute, one bad habit could destroy 10 good ones. So that missed project will turn into you not eating the right foods or not spending time with your family. And overall, it starts to program your subconscious. It tells your mind that, yo, this is who I am. I'm the type of person that doesn't follow through. And so if you think that not following through on one thing is not affecting the rest of your life, it absolutely is. Every time you don't follow through on one thing, it affects your self-image overall. And eventually, that one thing that you think is not that serious becomes your reality. The goal in this life should be self-mastery. And self-mastery starts with doing what you said you're going to do. Taking action on that energy that you're feeling when you have a new idea, because that idea is a blessing. An idea could make you a millionaire. An idea could change your, your family's life forever. So each win builds that momentum. And every next step is boosted by the previous step. So don't think about it as like a home run slam. Like you got to just go out and all of a sudden your business or your plan is going to make you rich and famous. Nah. You just make disciplined choices and eventually that's just going to reinforce your confidence. You don't wait for it to come to you. You have to create it. This stuff doesn't happen by accident. And you know what? There's a lot of talkers. It's easy to talk. But the real difference, the real change is going to happen in your life when you start taking action. And if you look around at the people in your life, you're going to realize that 90% of people are talkers and only 10% are doers. You want to jump out of that 90% and jump into the 10%. Because growth is simple, it's super simple, but it's not always easy. But you don't have to make it complicated. Start with the basics, build, a, build consistent habits, and then let growth happen naturally you become the things that you do over and over again even if they're small things there's a lot of small habits such as lighting up that cigarette it doesn't take that long but it has long-term effects it's the same thing with positive habits so no amount of affirmations and wishful thinking will replace true action transformation 
happens when you take disciplined action. Without disciplined action, anything less is just a wish. So just remember, every small step missed is putting you a couple steps back from where you need to be. I hope this provided you with some value. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.